Valentine's Day is coming. Do you know what you're going to get for your wife, girlfriend, mother of your children, female love of your life? Hey, howdy, hey, train wreck, how are you today? I am the glorious train wreck mom. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard, train wreck. Glad to have you here. Don't forget to get your ticket punched by hitting that subscribe button so you get to see all the train wreck goodness on a regular basis. This channel is a safe space for all train wrecks, except here we don't give you a puppy and a latte, we give you sarcasm and humor. I went looking for a topic for today because Valentine's Day is coming up. You'll be watching this on February uh, uh, February, Friday, holy cow, the second. It's late for me. I haven't slept. So, um, you'll be watching this on February, Friday, the, the second, and that means you only have about 12 more days to shop for Valentine's Day. What are you gonna get her? You don't know, do you? Yeah, I'm here to help you out. The first thing I'm gonna tell you is do not Google gifts for her valentine's day you know why because you're going to get a bunch of idiotic suggestions and none of them are going to be what she wants unless you're either independently wealthy and or have no children because there is no way on this goddess green earth that if my husband ever thought to get me a leather beret oh i'm making this up children Oh no, I am not making this up. A leather beret for like $300? Are you kidding me? Just because the queen bee herself has one just like it. Oh no, 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 no. First of all, oh no. Sit down, take several seats if you have to, but you need to sit down for this one. No. See, you know what $325 is? My electric bill. You know why? Because it's been 20 below zero outside. You spend $325 on a stupid leather beret, you get the divorce that's coming for you. Okay? No, there is no reason any human being should be spending $325 on a leather beret. They are stupid looking. And just because a celebrity wears it, seriously? No, just stop that. And there is no way, no way on this goddess green earth should you walk into Victoria's Secret and walk out with something that has less fabric than the dollar bills you paid for it? I saw something, $55. I was like, it's a hanger. Where'd it go? Did we read this story called The Emperor's New Clothes? Just paid $55. Where it at? Don't do this. Do not do this. Because if your wife is anything like I know she is, or your girlfriend, she don't want any of that, okay? And if you have kids especially, no, she doesn't want that. Roses die, a night on the town is a credit card bill she's just gonna have to look at in a month, okay? And the lingerie looks really nice when it's balled up at the foot of the bed, but she's the one who's gonna have to wash it. Hopefully not with a Tide Pod that got pulled out of a teenager's mouth. Guys, you're better than that. You're smarter than that. You know, this is your wife, your partner. These are the people you share a domicile with. You live with these people. How do you not know what they want? How can you not know? It's your job to know. She wants to feel more than like the woman who just drags the kids around to soccer and ballet and scouts and PTA. She wants to be more than just the bringer home of the good of the groceries. She wants to be more than the clean up, cleaner up of, of potty accidents and the booger wiper. She wants to be more than just the woman who cooks meals that your family won't eat anyway. You know how to do that. You know you know how to do that because you wouldn't be married if you didn't do it to start with. Am I right? You whined and dined and I'm not gonna finish that because I keep a friendly, friendly Felix around here. Fabulous. You made her feel like a woman. You made her feel more than. And over the course of years, it's normal. We take advantage of that. We get comfortable. We get used to it. That's why I look the way I do. I got comfortable, okay? But you know you had it in you then, you have it in you now. Make the time 
That's the gift she wants. She wants time. And whether that time is to take a bubble bath without the bathroom door looking like a scene from The Walking Dead with hands reaching through trying to get to her, or whether it's, and I'm telling you, this is a thing, guys. She just wants to poop alone. I know that sounds weird. She just wants to poop alone. She would do anything to have 15 minutes in the bathroom without having to hear, He looked at me. He's touching me. She's in my room. Don't care. Okay? Something's trying to be accomplished at that moment. Don't want to hear it. Okay? They want to be able to get dressed and not worry about having spaghetti thrown at them. Some of us are okay with pizza for for Valentine's Day dinner. We don't need a fancy night out. Besides, Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday this, this year. Are you kidding me? Who wants to work all day and then go fight the crowds at a restaurant? You gotta be kidding me. You know what she wants? Come home and have no laundry to, to do or put away. She wants to come home to a clean sink, vacuum floors. She wants to not have to worry about the bills. She wants to not have to worry about, are the kids going to be okay? And every now and then be nice if the kids got dressed the first time that mom asked, or the second, before it was time to leave, looking for shoes still. I digress. Mom would like to be able to take a nap. Mom would like to be able to sleep in. Don't do the breakfast in bed thing. Okay, I see that a lot. Don't do the breakfast in bed thing. Seriously? Crumbs in the bed. Don't let the kids cook. Unless your kid are like mini Gordon Ramsay's or those little kids that are on the kid top chef thing, don't let them cook, cook breakfast. You're insane. Have you ever seen what a six year old eats? Seriously, they eat hair and boogers. Why would you let that cook a breakfast for your wife and then put it in front of her to wake up to? Are you nuts? That's just, that's terrible. Don't do that. That's terrible parenting. Don't do that. That's just, that's, that's, ugh. When all else fails though, I'm gonna tell you the big one. 95% of us are a big fan of this. Don't do anything on Valentine's Day. Wait till the day after. Say what? 15th. National 50% off chocolate day. That's the way to a woman's heart right there. Chocolate makes everything better. Hot chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, dude, yeah, chocolate is life. Chocolate is amazing. And when it's 50% off, it's like buy one, get one free. So you should totally look into that. Other than that, give her the time. Give her the time to find out what she wants. Talk to her. Give her a reason to put her phone down. Okay? You guys can do this. I know you can because you did it before. You can do it again. Don't worry. I'm going to have a, a female version of this soon. So don't panic. I'm not just picking on you guys. I know it sounds like it, I am, but I'm going to have a female version of this too because we're guilty of it too. We get complacent. We get lazy. We get comfortable. I get it. Okay? Make her feel like the woman she is. Not just the mom, not just the schlepper of groceries, okay? That's all I've got for today, train wrecks. Like I said, if this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you can get to see all the train wreck goodness because I really want you to ring my bell, ring my bell. Because you know, you just, you have to. It's just what you have to do. I'd also like a like, comment, and share because sharing is caring and your friends all need to hear this video, don't they? You know they do. You know they do. I know, it's not an Eagles shirt. I know, but it's the best, it's the best I can do right now because I don't have one. I know, it's sad. I do not have one. So this is the best I got right now. I know you guys are probably like, why is she wearing a hockey jersey? Because Sunday, I'm going to witness history. I hope. I pray. Because my father might have a heart attack either way. I don't know. But, so, yeah, there's that. So, let's hope for Sunday. As I've said before, this ch channel is a safe space for all train wrecks. Except here, we don't give you a puppy and a latte. We give you sarcasm and humor. My books, 
Platitudes of Gratitude and All Your Fault are available in ebook and paperback on Amazon. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram and Hub Pages. And you can follow me on Anchor FM for my podcasts. You could also tweet me at, at witchy1014. That's with two E's. That's all I've got for today, Trainwreck. So, all aboard. <laughs>